Hello, this video shows how to change the uh, color of um, uh, Windows Universal app when you have here on ex in this example, it's my uh, Media Explorer when you have uh, an element, UI element and uh, you want to shade it, uh, make, make, uh, make it a little bit darker or li in lighter than uh, on an on a existing color then you may uh, use the system UI element there and that's what I, sh I show you how to program it in uh, Universal Windows app. So what's coming out is this one uh, that you have an, a color which is a lit little bit darker or lighter than uh, the original color. <coughs> what you see there when you have uh, an element, um, this is my this, this subfolders which you have seen there. Uh, there I am using a solid color brush. When you have an uh, an element like the script, for example, here, and you have there a background, then the background itself is not direct. The, the color is it's not uh, the background itself is drawn in a solid color brush that's what you see here when you go to the uh, properties of that uh, stuff then you have here the uh, the brush itself and that's the back background brush it's called in uh, we uh, in the visual studio you are defining it by uh, simply by the color itself but it's uh, in real it's a, a brush and here is the solid color brush you also have a uh, no brush or uh, a brush which uh, with a uh, with a line in there or a picture or something like this this is all brushes which are the in the background so what we use there uh, i said okay in my uh, in my user um, uh, user control I have written there, a <coughs> I gave there a variable, a solid uh, color brush, brush with, with a value. That's, I, I defined this by like this way. I said here, okay, uh, it's a, that's the brush. And so I may, when you double click on that, then you may change the color. I made this in my SAML file because uh, because then I have uh, I'm, I may modify it by the um, designer. <clears throat> so what we do there when when the event comes, uh, please change that color. <coughs> then I say, excuse me. Then I say, please change it. Here are my functions. Now where is it? I lost, lost that function. Uh, initializing, loading, and blah 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 blah. Opacity, get files. Ah. <coughs> Sometimes this happens that uh, that someone lose here. <coughs> Terrible sometimes, I don't know. Here, set the background, okay? Uh, when I go to this function, go to the definition, excuse me, that I that it needed a little bit time, then I have here uh, a simple fun function which is in a, in a shared class. It's called get a shifted color brush with the original brush and then an offset. <clears throat> now when I go to this uh, to this method, then in this method uh, it's written like this, public static solid color brush, uh, and then the name, give me uh, the original brush and an offset. And then I take, uh, I create a new color by the brush itself with this its color and this uh, shift and I go to a shift function uh, sh shift method 
in C sharp it's a method and then that's what I wanted to show you the color itself it's a Windows UI color the original color there you have uh, from the orig original color you have the uh, the A uh, channel alpha channel this is opacity then the uh, blue green and red uh, channel so it's and that's these are always uh, values from 0 to 255 so it's a byte but uh, with a byte it's di more difficult to calculate so I first uh, went it to an integer standard integer then I said okay give me all those colors and then make an offset make it more uh, the single value more or less so when you have a red color and give uh, and the value is for example 100 and you add one uh, add 50 more then uh, it shifts to a lighter uh, to a lighter color more red more green more blue and when you change all those three values in the same sequence to more uh, to a higher value or lower value always in respects from 0 to 255 then you will have a in lighting or in darking yeah and then that's calculation don't be higher than 255 and all that stuff and <clears throat> okay not this one then you will see here you will get a new calculation and this you get a new color from uh, alpha red green and blue from ARGB convert that value to a byte uh, alpha red green blue and then give back this one to the brush and there's a new brush called with this new value the uh, initialization a new value of a solid brush is either by a color or by nothing okay and now when we start this again then you will have this one Wait. Then we have this application, and I implemented that event uh, on the pointer enter and pointer exit. So when you when I'm entering this value, then I'm enlightening it. I say, okay, solid color brush plus plus twenty or less twenty. Yeah and when i click on that then i get a give a, give a new color and i'm enlightening it and i'm in darkening uh, darkening it so uh, that's my um application or not the application but this method i also made this method uh, i stored it on my website so you may don't download it uh, and it's the usage usage of that stuff is quite simple simply you only have to say uh, class media give me a new shifted color brush with something uh, with the original brush and then a little ball a little more lighter or uh, darker so and if you liked it then make a thumb and uh, subscribe that channel